What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Typhlosion on the Regulation D ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Baz. Baz, thank you so much for sending this to me over on Twitter. Cannot wait to use this considering I do not believe I used regular Typhlosion on the Regulation D ladder yet. Definitely use his suing Typhlosion, but I don't think I used the regular Typhlosion. So, gonna be fun. Absolutely love this Pokemon's design. Gonna be awesome to rock out with it, especially with Torkoal to set the sun. First Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Tornadus. Tornadus can also set the sun just like Torkoal because it got Prankster and that sunny day. This Pokemon's rocking the Focus Ash with Tailwind, Taunt, and Bleak Wind Storm for its other three moves. In our second slot, we got the one and only Typhlosion. It's got the Blaze ability along with the Choice Specs to make it do some crazy damage. We got the Fire Terror type with Eruption, Solar Bleam, Blast Burn, and Heat Wave. Me and Heatwave haven't been on the same page recently, but if I'm using it with Typhlosion, I feel good about my accuracy. Third Pokemon is going to be Torkoal. This team also has Trick Room Setter with Cresselia, so having Torkoal as a back-end Pokemon is going to be super, super powerful within that Trick Room. It's got Drought and the Jack Pack as its item, Rocket Protect, Earth Power, Overheat, and Heatwave. In the fourth slot is that Trick Room Setter, Cresselia with Levitate and the Mental Herb, Rocket Moonblast, Helping Hand, Lunar Blessing, and Trick Room. In our fifth slot, we got Cresselia's best friend. We got Ursaluna over here. Everybody knows Ursaluna is deadly within the Trick Room. It's got Guts and the Flame Orb with Protect, Drain Punch, Facade, and EQ. In our final position, we got Fluttermane, a Pokemon that you cannot go wrong with in Regulation D. This one's rocking out with Protosynthesis and a Life Orb as item. The moveset is fairly normal with Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Moonblast. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is that top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this regular Typhlosion Regulation D team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Mesper team. They also have Pokemon that thrive in the trick room, like Ursaluna and Torkoal. They got Logan to pair with the Torkoal, and then they got Sylveon and Urshfu as their other two Pokemon. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I could go Tornadus Typhlosion. Or I could go Typhlosion in the back end. I definitely want to bring in Typhlosion somewhere here. It's going to be such a good Pokemon. But I feel as a nice little lead for us could be Fluttermane. Or I could just pop Trick Room. I don't know. Do I want to pop Trick Room? Not really. Not really. I am going to end up going into Tornadus for a lead. I really like going to, I'm going to really like going into Tailwind and kind of getting after, after it that way. So I'm going to go Tornadus and Fluttermane alongside with Torkoal and Typhlosion. I just feel as those two in the back end, especially with Tailwind up from the Tornadus, could be really, really powerful for us. I can just have that sun, get that choice specs damage, and try to showcase this type of So, should be a fun one. Should be a fun one. But Mesprint, I really do not know what Mesprint does too much. I used it once, and it was good, but, like, I don't know it fully. So, it's really throwing me off. And this leads in order. We're going up against these two. And uh, I could Tailwind really start kicking it. And that's definitely going to be my play. I know that what's called is probably Sash. Logenth. And I wonder what Fluttermane's speed is. Are you higher than Logan? You might not be. That's it's not a fully maxed out Fluttermane there, which kind of hurts soul. Um, but you know what? I'm going to go for a Bleak Windstorm. And I'm just going to protect Fluttermane. I have the Sash with Tornadus. I'm just going to protect Fluttermane here. I'm a little scared of the Torkoal. Wish I did have Rain Dance at this point, but Sun is our friend. Sun is our friend. I got my Protosynthesis pop and we're really getting after it. Dance, I'm just going for an after you. Okay, so I have Sash, which is good. So I'm cool with that. I'll set up a Tailwind next turn. And we'll really start to get after it. Hopefully I can do a, a little bit of damage on the Torkoal here. But I know Bleak Windstorm is in the Sun. And it misses sometimes. And my accuracy has not been working with me. So come on, Bleak Windstorm. It's landing. Cool. We love that. We love that. That's some big time damage. We love that a lot. So we get some big time damage off. We're going to trigger Focus Sash onto Logan. And now I still have my Fluttermane at full HP. But now, what I want to do is a nice little Tailwind. A nice little Dash and Gleam, right? Do I Gleam? I, I would think you're probably like Choice Spec, right? So I might not even be worried about that. I'm just going to Gleam just to get rid of the uh, Logan. Make sure that thing's gone. So Tailwind comes out of here. Show me that you're faster, Fluttermane. You might not be. Logan is fast in sun, double its speed. You are. That's big time. That's big time. So we get rid of 
Lilligant, and on top of that, we do some big time damage to Torkoal. So, Torkoal, if I'm guessing your choice specs, you're probably just going for an eruption again, correct? Or are you going for Heat Wave? You are going for Heat Wave. Okay, so you're not choice. You're going to do some nice damage to Fluttermane. So, Tornadus drops out. I still think we're thriving here. I think now we can bring out Typhlosion. The sun is already out. And I could potentially Terrasilize into fire and just start popping eruptions, right? Typhlosion getting after it. Getting after it right here. This is exactly kind of how I wanted things to play out. Get some nice damage with Fluttermane. Get that sun set up. They set the sun for us, but more importantly, get the tailwind. This Typhlosion speed is like one... I think it's like 160 something. Which is huge. Rather fast. Rather fast. But just look at it. It looks so good. But Mesprit's going to come out here, and I'm not even worried about it. I'm really not worried about it. I'm just going to erupt. Eruption into Dazzling Gleams all day long. All day long. We're not playing around. And I get the Terror Boost. So we're going to get the, the Stab Boost, the Terror Boost, the Choice Specs Boost, the Sun Boost. Oh, yeah. We, we are not playing around. Typhlosion is not playing around. He looks so dope. I love his Pokemon. I'm really glad I actually used him today. Just the flares that are just spiking out of his back. It's awesome. So he ends up just straight up protecting Mesprint. That's fine. So Torkoal's going to end up dying out here. Eruption's going to fly. And we say bye-bye to Torkoal. Torkoal dying to his own medicine. Love it. Love it. See you later, Turtle. So we get rid of the Turtle. I wonder who they're going to bring out here. Urshifu is a possibility, right? Actually, was Urshifu even on their team? I think it was. Urshifu is definitely a possibility, but the thing is, we have Sun Up, which is lovely. It's lovely. It will neglect any of the water damage, and Sylveon's going to come out here. Did this team have Urshifu on it, or am I tripping? Let me see. No, it had Urshifu. Okay. But they just didn't bring it. So Sylveon comes out here, and I think we pretty much wrap up this battle just by going Dazzling Gleam and Eruption. Because Eruption should just be able to kind of kind of sweep things out here, right? I think Eruption picks up a double kill, depending on this Terror type. It is a Fire Terror type. A perfect terror type for what we're going with. It's gonna neglect some eruption damage, and on top of that, it's gonna neglect the uh, that's a green damage. But eruption's still gonna fly. Should still do a huge chunk of damage. And the chaos mesprint and does half on the silver. Mwah, mwah! It is beautiful. It is beautiful. We love it. That's green gets cooking. It's doing half of that, and we're thriving here. You going for hyper voice? Yeah, you going for hyper voice. Which has Typhlosion to HP. Okay. I still think an Eruption KO is still going, which would be nice. And from here, I can just bring out Torkoal. The Torky. The Torkiest of Torkoals. The Torkiest of Torkoals. And it's 2v1, so that's pretty much game. We'll go for an Eruption. And on top of that, I will choice... Or not choice. I'll just go into an Earth Power. That's game, set, match. Match number one. Going to us. They end up canceling it. And Typhlosion gets ripping. First match went perfectly. We got the Typhlosion out there, we got Rippin, and more importantly, we caught that W. But we're hopping into our second match, looking to go back to back, and we're going up against a nice, solid Regulation D team. They got Chiyu, they got Tornadas, Fluttermane, Amoongus, and then Landers and Iron Hand. So chances are, they're either going to lead somewhat of a Tornadas play, or I can see them going into Chiyu, Fluttermane. They got options here. They got a lot of different options. They can also go into the Iron Hands. Landorus isn't a bad lead considering it's nice like that. But I'm thinking of just popping Trick Room. I'm thinking of maybe going Crest Ursaluna. Getting Trick Room off and kind of going from there. I think Trick Room's definitely in play. So I'm going to go Crest Ursaluna. Just try to get ripping with them. We're going to hope that they don't lead Chiyu. If they end up leading Chiyu, I might just Terrasilize it and straight Fairy. Just so the Dark type moves don't just rip into me. But yeah, I'm going to go into them too. I am going to bring Torkoal. And then last but not least, just Fluttermane as a back end Pokemon is so nice. I'm going to do that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. And go back to back here. We're not bringing the lovely Typhlosion. He is a fun Pokemon to use. But he's one of those Pokemon that gets stale very quickly. And he's and he's very easy to combo, you know? Because most of the time, all you're doing with it is just getting it out in the sun. And either popping a Heat Wave or an Eruption. For the most part, right? It's just, do, it's just doing it that way, right? <laughs> that's, that's his game plan. That's his whole game plan. But they're going to end up leading Lando... He's gonna intimidate my boy. I'm upset with that. Alongside with Tornadus. So you can go for a taunt. I got mental herb. Trick room should be free for us. I'm gonna go for trick room. I am going to, I think, hard swap. I think I might hard swap. And actually, I wanna see something. Does Lunar Blessing 
No, it just takes off status conditions. I was gonna say, does it reset like attack drops? That'd be ridiculous. And from here, I think I might just hard swap them. I am just gonna hard swap them into Torkoal. Torkoal doesn't have eruption, so that's fine. I want to reset this uh this attack drop. So I want Ursuline into its fullest power. I want to slap it up on people. So he ends up withdrawing Tornadus. You gonna go into Iron Hands potentially? Correct. Iron Hands comes out here. Hands of Irons. I'm wondering what land is going for. Maybe a Rock Slide? I don't know, but Torkoal's, Torkoal's a tough customer to Rock Slide here. Did I get that sun cooking. U turns gonna come out here. That's fine by me. And who are you gonna go to? What did you play? So I could definitely just go into a Lunar Blessing if I want to. Um, hmm. Is Fake Out? Because I think we have Ally Switch. Does Fake Out come out for Ally Switch? We might not even have Ally Switch. Let me see. We got Trick Room. We had Moon Blast. I don't actually. I don't think we have Ally Switch. But this Pokemon's gonna come out here. We do set up the Trick Room, which is wonderful, and he's probably just faking out the Torkoal, right? Chances are he's faking out Torkoal. I'm just gonna go for a Lunar Blessing. I just want some HP back. I'll go for Heat Wave. Heat Wave, Lunar Blessing. We need all the HP back. Every last chunk of it, we need back. We need it back. But maybe I should have terrestrialized the, uh, the Crest here, in case the Shadow Ball was coming, but I want to save our Terror type. I think it would be better on like Ursuline or something like that. Is our opponent going to make a move? I, th I know they're studying this. They want to figure it out. I should have probably terrestrialized the Crest. Probably should have, but I can see them faking out and doubling down into Torkoal. Because Torkoal is a real big threat here, right? Torkoal is the main threat. So they have to straight up Terrasilize and Iron Hands into a water type. A beautiful water type. And we'll see what they want to do from here. They gotta be faking out Torkoal or something. Yeah. Fake out onto Torkoal all day. We're gonna flinch. It's all good. I'm gonna bring everybody back up to full HP. And we'll see what Flutterman wants to do. What do you mean? What you got cooking here? What you got cooking? Shadow, you are going to the crest. Can you eat this up, crest? Probably not, right? Oh, you do. Good Lunar Blessing. Beautiful Lunar Blessing. Premier, I'm just going to go Heat Wave and... And a Moon Blast. I don't care if crest dies out. I actually want crest to die out as soon as possible. I would love crest to actually die this turn. Because if crest dies this turn, then I can bring out Ursuline and get some turns off with it. We need Ursuluna in as many Trick Room turns as we can. Because then we still have Fluttermane in the back end, who's going to be great outside the Trick Room. With the Life Orb, all that good stuff. And maybe, just maybe the Sun will still be out there. Because then we get the Protosynthesis boost. But our team's really thinking. They do have, we know they have Land Nurse in the back end. They're playing this one actually really good. And Heat Wave's going to come out here. And I'm missing my Heat Waves. I miss both my Heat Waves, bro! Come on with that. Yo, you got for my for the people who've been watching for probably this past month, you guys seen my heat waves have been missing left and right. I just double miss a heat wave. I don't know when this is gonna stop, but this has been terrible. I've been ice cold with my heat waves. I'm about to stop using them forever. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I hurt so bad, and they forced me to use my eject pack. That is just, oh man. So ugly. Very ugly. But I do get my guts triggered. Oh, dudes. Oh, heat wave, really? It's 90 accuracy, and I'm double missing. Should not be a thing. Should not be a thing. But I'm just gonna go into a heat wave here. I am going to terrestrialize and go for a facade. Because I wanna try to do as much damage as I can to Iron Hands here. Oh my lord. Heat wave, really? Really heat wave, <laughs> yo, it's so bad. It's so annoying. In the last game in Sword and Shield, Play Rough was my one move that I would just like never like to use because I missed it all the time. And I think in this game, Heat Wave's taken over. Like I don't I don't I'm scared to use Heat Wave all the time now. It's just so bad at missing. It really is. And the accuracy's not even bad, like 90% accuracy, I should not be missing every other time I use it. 
It's terrible. It's atrocious. But we end up terrestrializing the Ursula in it into straight and normal. We're trying to do some big time facade damage over onto the Iron Hands. Trying to get rid of this. And Heat Wave is going to fly from Torkoal. And I'm missing again? Who do I... We can't hit this Flutter main. That's who I want the Heat Wave to hit. That's who I want the Heat Wave to hit, yo. Flutter main should be dead. Flutter main should be a goner. This match should be a lot easier than what it is. We're, we're going to lose it. But I'm just missing. That's three Heat Waves I missed. But Facade comes out here, it takes out Iron Hands. And if you think about this, if you think about this, the Flutter main should already be dead. We should be sitting in a way better position than we are. Because now, probably my Ursula dies. That's probably a double kill. Yeah, it's double kill all day. Flutter main should be gone. It should be a goner. Missing heat. Get on out of here. Missing my heat waves like that. It is just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous loss. Like, I, could you imagine playing in the world championships and like missing attacks like that? Oh, dude, that probably that's, that probably hurts the soul. Got a feel for those guys. Like, imagine outplaying your opponent in the world championship and missing a move. Oh, that's got to be ugly. That's got to be real ugly. That's got to be real ugly. But from here, we got to get rid of this thing first and foremost. So I'm going to go after that. Try to KO it. And I guess we'll just go from there. We are slower, so... Butter make a KO or are you sashed? Of course you're sashed. Who would, like... This game today, this match right here is just, oh man, it's ugly. Of course you're sashed. This Flutter Mane's just surviving all day long. And now it gets off Shadow Ball, and it's going to KO me. We love it. Everything just not going my way in match number two. We're one and one. Let's put this one behind us. Let's go hop to that third and final match. Look for a winning record. Third and final match coming at you guys, and this one seems like a tough one. Wish we were 2-0 oh already, but you guys know RNG just hates me right now. Not just RNG, Heat Wave RNG hates me. I don't know what I did. I had to buy it flowers. Definitely gotta buy Heat Wave flowers, make up with it. Just, just, just to get the ball rolling again. But third and final matches here and top tier team. Urshifu, Shen Pao, Fluttermain, Dragonite. Cannot forget about Dragonite. And then Heatran and Willaboom. So they got a lot of firepower here. Trick Room, probably gonna be a good friend of ours, but first turn priority is still a little bit of an issue, right? A little bit of an issue. So I'm going to go Crest. I think Soul Pop and Trick Room is going to be good for us. Um, from here, we could go Ursaluna. I could potentially just protect Ursaluna. Uh, I could straight up attack with Ursaluna. But I could just go into Torkoal. I mean, Torkoal wouldn't be bad. So we'll go Torkoal. We'll go Ursaluna and then Flutter Mane. We're going to give that whole thing another try. We're going to give that whole thing another try. Or I can actually just take Speed. You know what? Yeah. Scratch all this. We're going Tornado's Flutter Mane. Nice level lead, and we're going toward gold tie fortune in the back end. I like it. I like it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Something I have to watch out for is Heatran. And we're just going to hope that they don't bring Heatran, to be honest with you. We're going to hope that they don't bring Heatran. If they do bring Heatran, we are in a tough position. But I do have Earth Power rocking out with Torkoal, which could be very, very good for us. So we'll see who they want to lead. Maybe I should Maybe I should have went in Trick Room Squad thinking about it, but... I want to go back into this, but Shen Pao is going to come out here. Um, nice sunny day would probably be be good to us, especially if Surgeon Strikes is coming through here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. On a sunny day, and I'm also just going to thrash last as and gleam. Easy plays. Sunny day neglects the water damage coming from Urshifu. Terrasis lies and makes us do more damage, and on top of that, neglects damage if a Dark Weave wants to come out from Shen Pao. Cute. Cool, cool, cool. I like this. I like this. It's a good lead for us. Good lead for us. I was expecting more of a, a Dragonite lead instead of Urshfu, but this works. This is fine for me. So I'm going to go into the nice little Terra. But it's kind of funny. Uh, Last game, was it last match? Was it ma oh no, match number one. Match number one, we landed a Bleak Wind Storm in the sun, which was like no problem. But I can't land a simple heat. It's like, come on, man. What is, what is up with that? Shen Pao ends up just straight up protecting. No Terra comes out from Ursh, which is good. And he's just... Oh, no. He's gonna, he's gonna detect. He's feeling us out. He wants to see what's going on here. We're gonna just pop a nice little sunny day. And now I can just go Tailwind, right? Now I can just go Tailwind. Now I can just take some lovely little speed here. Throw a little bit of speed on the board. 
They have no way of weather control on Mimus Paz. If Heatran could come out here, Heatran would be a bit of an issue. But we'll go from there. But from here, Tailwind's gonna be your best friend, and we'll just stick with the Azimut. We're hoping that they don't have Heatran. But they definitely have Heatran, right? Pokemon that we don't want people to bring, they always bring. It's a fact. So smart play from our opponents just to read out what we're doing. But I, I don't mind it. Now now they now they know what we're, what we're doing, but we're not switching it. We're going to keep it going. We're going to go Tailwind. We're going to go for a nice big Dazzle Gleam. We're just looking to get off spam here. The Tailwind comes out here. They end up staying in with the Pokemon. That is surprising. They end up just straight up staying in. And Dazzling Gleam gets cooking. So somebody's dead. Whoever's not Sashed. Urshifu's dead. Cool. Gen Pal, Sashed. That's fine by me. We get rid of Urshu. It's a big time KO. I'm surprised they didn't do anything different. I really am. Because a double protect usually just means like, hey, I'm feeling you out. I want to see what you're doing. And at this point, they just didn't swap or anything. They end up going for an Ice Spinner. And this is a time where I wish I didn't have Focus Dash. I would love to bring out Time Collision right now. I would love for that Pokemon just to die out and I get to bring out Time Collision. But it's all good. Maybe we'll get some value out of them next turn. So they're gonna throw out Heatran and he's a problem. He's a problem. He is definitely a problem. A simple problem. Um Bleakwind Storm. Yeah, Bleakwind Storm into Shadow Ball? Did we just start trying to get off damage on this thing? I believe we do. I believe we just start getting after Heatran. Sucker Punch is gonna come out here. We're able to soak up. We're hoping Bleakwind Storm can actually just land on the Shen Pao and KO it. I'm looking to do damage to this thing. That's some big time damage. Go ahead, Bleak Windstorm. Wait right on to the Shen Pal. My man, yo. My man. I needed you. I needed you, and you, and you came in hot. You came in clutch. So we get rid of the Shen Pal, and on top of that, we get off some big time damage on to each one. So now, from here, I think bringing out Torkoal would be your best call, to be honest. Or do I bring out Typhlosion? Because the thing is, like, Typhlosion can start ripping into the final Pokemon. But. But Torkoal is, is the Earth Power guy, right? I think we save for Typhlosion. I think we save for Typhlosion. We're just gonna go into Torkoal here. I really need nice little Earth Power to get rid of Heatran. And if I don't get rid of Heatran, we lose this. Rillaboom is gonna come out here. Rillaboom is going to come out here. They do have Terra. They do have Terra type. And I'm just going to go Bleak Wind Storm into Earth Power. That's my plan. We'll see who they want to fake out. I can definitely see him faking out. Oh, he protect he trained. Ooh. Can he fake out my Torkoal then? No, he's going to pick up a KO. Oh, dude. This is ugly. This is ugly. This is getting real ugly. Heatran's looking like it's making something happen, <laughs> right? Heatran is looking like it can make something happen. Oh my god, it's getting back a ton of HP. Oh no. I can't hit it with a fire move. I, I just can't. Um. I think we choice into a solar beam. And the reason being, I do want to go into Heat Wave and just try to KO him. I'd rather choice into solar beam, just in case he wants to water terror into the Rillaboom. We'll see how this one plays. Tough news, Rillaboom is going to get that. And is that water? It's fire, the most perfect terror type. The most perfect. The fire terror comes out here. Solar Beam is going to get cooking. We do have the Grass Train, which is beautiful. But how much damage are we really doing to P-Train? We are Choice Specs. How much damage are we doing? Oh, no. No. And this thing's ripping Earth Power into me. Wow, I could have just went into Earth Power and took out the Heat Train. Knockoff's going to come out here. He's going to take off my choice. Just get rid of my choice. Can Heat Wave do anything? Probably not, right? Just the most perfect Terra. Yeah. I'm super surprised. I'm super surprised he didn't Terrasalize Heatran, but that pretty much wraps it up. We can't do much. We can't do much. And match number three is going to go to our opponent. Come on, man. I really wanted this win. I 
And let's see how much damage Blast Burn would have done. I'll go for an Earth Power in this slot. Maybe I should just protect the Torkoal, make something happen, but no, they're gonna turn it down Torkoal. Knowing that Typhlosion can't do anything to that Heatran. You really can't. But I could have sworn that the Heatran was probably gonna Thrastalize. But yeah, I feel like either way, even if we did Earth Power into uh, Rillaboom, we just weren't doing any damage. And I missed my Blast Burn anyway. It's so ugly. And he turns into Earth Power on me, KO on me. It's just a beautiful game. We, lo we love RNG today. Missing Blast Burns late in the game, but that Blast Burn didn't really matter. But Woodhammer's gonna fly here. That's gonna KO me 28 HP all day. One and two record. Wish I could have got you guys a winning record today. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 1-2 losing record for today's video. Pretty sad, considering the second match, we probably should have won if we just landed a few heat waves, and that would have guaranteed ourselves a winning record. And then the third and final match, Heatran just ended up doing a sturdy alongside with a big-time Terra from Rillaboom. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.